guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is April. I'm a mom to a wild three-year-old little boy and I am currently pregnant with baby number two. On my channel, you can typically find lots of motherhood, lifestyle. I do love beauty, so I sprinkle it in every now and then. And in today's video, I am going to share with you how I care for my hair and how I achieved these beachy waves using my beach waver. So if any of that stuff interests you, just make sure you hit that red subscribe button down there and the bell next to it for notifications. So that way you don't miss any of my videos. All right, so I'm gonna start with the things I use in the shower and I am gonna go over every single product I use from beginning till end of this style right here. So I do also want to say that this video is in no way sponsored. Every single product that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, I have purchased with my own money and I love. So first let's start. So yesterday I dampened my hair with just a little spray bottle, just some water, and I did an overnight mask. I love putting on a hair mask and then leaving it overnight washing it out the next day. My hair feels so much softer when I do that. And these are my like tried and true favorites when it comes to masking my hair. I have been using these on and off for, gosh, 10 years. Yeah, a long time. So this is the Enjoy Intensive Reconstructing Spray. It's for repair. It's just like amazing. So I spray this all over my hair um, after I've dampened it and I kind of just like rub it in just very lightly making sure that every piece is saturated with this. It is a little on the pricey side because I use a lot of it but if you are not quite as generous with your product it would last you probably a lot longer than it lasts me. And then this is the Enjoy Hair Mask, and I love this thing. It is by far my favorite hair mask I've ever used, and a little bit of this goes a long way. So I just take a little bit of this, rub it all throughout my hair, really massage it in, squeezing the hair, but being very gentle, just making sure that everything is moisturized and saturated with this product. Then I like to put my hair up in a bun or braid it, and leave it overnight. The next day, I like to hop in the shower, obviously, rinse out my hair mask. My hair feels so silky and wonderful. And then I am using right now, I switched my shampoos up quite a bit, but I always go back to enjoy it again. This is the Enjoy Hydrating Shampoo. I also love their luxury line. It is so nice, but this one is probably my second favorite and the only reason that I don't always get the luxury is because it's a bit thicker and I feel like if I use it too often it builds up on my hair. But this hydrating one is a lot lighter of a formula and I'm obsessed with it and it comes in the giant jug. And then I wash my hair with a purple shampoo. This is, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. This is the Lange. I think that's how you say it, Lange Purple Shampoo. It's the cool toning um, shampoo. And this stuff is potent. If you leave it on your hair for too long, it will turn it purple. I also really like their purple mask. And if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, their purple line is the only line I like. I've tried quite a few of their other products and the purple line is just like hands down the best. And then after I'm done shampooing my hair, using the purple shampoo, I just put a teeny tiny bit more of this hair mask in. Like when I'm saying teeny tiny, like smaller than a dime amount. Put it mostly from the mid to the ends. And then I just kind of wash up, let that sit on my hair, rinse it out, and I am done with that. And now we can go ahead and jump in to the products that I put in my hair and how I blow dry and how I achieve this amazing beach wave style. After my shower, while I'm putting on all my face creams and body creams, I put my hair up in one of these towel scrunchies so that it can start drying on its own. 
And then I am obsessed with the Unite 7 Seconds Detangling Conditioner. I have been using this for years on years. It really helps to detangle my hair, makes it easier to brush it out. And I always use a wide tooth comb while my hair is this wet to brush it out, just so it has the least amount of damage. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of this Aveda Damage Ready cream in my hair. I love the way this stuff makes my hair feel and it protects it from heat and getting any sort of damage. It also helps to smooth my hair during the blow drying process. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hair up in this microfiber towel. I like to try to get my hair as dry as possible before applying any sort of heat on it when I blow dry it. It just helps to prevent damage and also it makes the blow drying process a lot faster. And since I am the mom to a toddler, I'm constantly doing things around the house, chasing him around and being pregnant. I just don't want to be blow drying my hair all day. And then now that my hair is probably about 70% dry, I'm going to apply this Tresemme heat protector and get going on blow drying my hair. I wish my hair was a little drier, but today I didn't quite have time to wait for it to dry as much as I normally like to. And since my hair isn't quite as dry as I normally like it to, I am gonna go ahead and section it off. And normally I use just a regular scrunchie, but today I'm gonna use another one of my towel scrunchies. I have quite a few of these, that way I always have a dry one. Then I'm gonna brush out each section before I get going on blow drying. I am using my Lange blow dry brush. I love this thing, it works so well. It makes my hair so smooth and it can create a lot of volume if you really want a lot of volume. I tend to blow dry my hair a little bit more on the straighter side with this by blow drying both the top and then blow drying the bottom and pulling it in a downward motion because my hair naturally has a ton of volume and with this style, I like it a little bit flatter on my head. So now I'm moving on to the next section and as you can see, I'm blow drying it the same way. I'm blow drying from all different directions, just trying to get the hair to fall the way I want it to and make sure it's as smooth as possible. Now while I'm blow drying the top section, this is the most important part to me because I want to make sure that my hair is going away from my face, but also that it doesn't have too much volume and it's very, very smooth. So I keep switching back and forth between the hot and the cool setting, also making sure that I don't do a lot of damage to the front of my hair because, well, I tend to put a lot of heat on the front of my hair and that's where it's the most sensitive. Now I like to take a little bit of the macadamia oil. I love this stuff, it's amazing. It makes your hair so soft and so smooth. I rub it all throughout my hair and it also works as a light heat protector. You'll notice I put a lot of heat protector in my hair. I just try really hard not to damage my hair too, too much. And now for the fun part you guys have all been waiting for. This is my Bondi Boost Beach Waver. I am obsessed with this thing. I love the waves that it creates. I like this one way more than I like my other waivers and I always reach for this one. I never reach for any of my other waivers anymore. Now I'm just going to section off my hair and you'll notice that I put heat protector in my hair again. 
I forget in some sections, but I try to remember as much as possible because whenever you are applying heat to your hair, you want to make sure that you have some sort of protector on there. So while I'm using my waver, I clamp the hair up towards the root and hold it for a little while and then I make sure I completely release the hair and re-clamp it so that it makes a nice wave. You'll notice that I'm not super precise with the bottom layer because it's covered anyways. I just want to make sure that every piece is really waved and there's no straight pieces. With my middle layer, I make sure that I am a little bit more precise and I also hold the waver a little bit longer on each section so that it just gets a tad bit wavier with more volume. I also want to make sure that my waves don't, I don't know how to say it, but don't have like too much curl at the bottom or flip out at the bottom. I want the ends to be a little bit on the straighter side. the top of my hair this is the part that I want to make sure that it looks the best because this is the part that you really do see so I'm taking both thick sections and thin sections and making sure that I hold the waver long enough to where it gets a really good wave in there Another reason I take both thick and thin sections is because I want my hair to have a lot of dimension. I don't want all the waves to be just exactly the same. Now I'm going to take this Way Memory Mist. I love this stuff. It works as a heat protector and also a very light hairspray. And then I'm going to take my 1 and 3 fourths inch curling iron and I am going to curl the front pieces of my hair just to get them away from my face. So what I do is I wrap the barrel around a piece of the hair, hold it for a second, pull it down a little bit, and then I'm going to unwrap it twisting and wrap it again. This keeps the hair wavy while leaving about three inches off the bottom so that way my hair still looks wavy but it's going away from my face and not straight down or towards my face. And then I just go ahead and take the curling iron and position the pieces the way I want them to. I just don't like my hair in my face so that's why I do this and I love the final result. So now that I've got all the pieces going the direction I want them to, I just kind of comb everything out with my fingers, make sure that there's not any pieces that need either a little curl or a little wave, and I spray a little bit of this shine spray in my hair, which also kind of tames down the waves. And if I'm going to be completely honest, I like this style day two better than day one. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down there, the bell next to it for notifications so you don't miss out on all my fun videos. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys.